What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is MTG Gameplays and welcome back to the Brighton and Hull Valvian career mode. As always, if you enjoy, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you don't want to miss out on this series. This series has been getting a lot of support recently. Um, Siri, why the hell did you just activate? That's a topic for another day and another assistant. Okay. You guys have been showing me a lot of support on this series um, early days in um, so I can't really thank you guys enough um, I'm glad that you've all been really enjoying it so anyway in the last episode we left off with a big question of should we become an international manager for England now unfortunately the video hasn't been up for as long as what I planned it to be up so I haven't actually had any answers to whether I should or should so unfortunately I'm gonna have to make that decision myself and after having a long think, I've decided to become the manager. Simply because I want to kind of um, bring something a little bit different to the table on this career mode series. Um, so really, it's going to offer, you know, a bit more content and a little bit more of a different feeling now. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether if we'll genuinely play any games or if we'll just genuinely sim them um, just for fun. Um, but let me know down in the comment section whether you want to see me play those international games or not but with that being said we're up against real social adad um in the euro league so let's go and jump on into this game and hopefully we can get a win okie dokie let's do this real social dad versus brighton and hill let's go so we've got currently three injuries um at the moment and gross is currently one of them so we don't actually have a actual cam so i've decided to put isquiliado as a cam and put march out on the left mid so hopefully that'll work uh, quite well for us oh wait get that out there we go nicely done right now we've got ings on the ball but he's lost it. What an arse. But we got it back. Right, counter. Let's go. He's so quick. Oh, fuck me. He's actually so quick. And it's been blocked. Right, corner. Whoop that in. Can we win it? Oh, what a fucking goal! What a goal. Look at that. I want to see a replay of that. Let's take a look at that. Whip it in. No luck. Comes out of the box. Whack. What a goal. Omar Mascarell. What a goal. Over the top. That's it. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Oh, just wide. Unlucky. Uh-oh. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. There we go. Oh no, come on. Oh shit, oh they've got one back. What a jammy little goal, look at that. How did that even happen? Jammy bastard. Oh, what's happened there? This is a chance. Try not fuck it up. Now we're talking. Still got a bit to... oh, real here. oh, what the hell? Come on. Well, and whip that in. The now we're talking. Come on. He's flicked that on for somebody there. Right. we still got it. Can we keep it in? Can we keep it in? Can we keep it in? Ah, oh, not quite. Busy game. Busy, busy, busy. Can you go for another one? Oh, off the fucking crossbar. He's going for it today. Mascarell. Right, half time's upon us. Three minutes of added time. Can we get another chance? Mm, no, don't think we will. Oh, hold your horses, maybe. Just maybe. Free kick. No. I think that's it. Whistle gonna go. Yep, there we go. Alright, well, it's half time and currently 1 0, but. The chance... Oh, no, sorry. It's not 1-0. It's 1-0. Well, fuck me. It's been a pretty decent game, though. A lot of chances. Um, so, I'm not going to make any changes. We're just going to continue. And hopefully, we can get a win. I see a chance. That wasn't it. But this could potentially work. 
Yes, there we go. What a jammy fucking goal, but he's done it. There we go. Lovely. Who was that? I think that was actually um, March. It was indeed. Right, I'm going to very quickly make a change. Ings ain't doing fantastic, so I'm going to bring Solanke on. So maybe Solanke can get a goal instead. Oh, yes. Oh, fucking hell. He's going home. There we go, Solanke. What a save. Oh my god. Put the corner in the middle. Oh my god, how has he done that? How has he done that? Isquiliado. What a funky freaking goal. When I crossed it in, I thought, let's not shoot, let's flick it on. I flicked it on and out of all people, it was Isquiliado that got on the end of it and it went right to the side. I thought he went under his legs at first. Wow, jammy game. Yes. I meant to double tap, but I forgot to tap it again. Oh, what pass. Yes, what a goal. Well done, Solanke. Good assist, sir. Nice. Right, this will probably be it now. The last corner of the game, last kick. So, let's just defend it. There we go. That's it, surely. Surely. No, it's still not. you got to be fucking around right now. That's got to be it. There we go. 4-1 win. What a game. What a game. All right, so in the last episode, um, we also scouted David Neres, who is what one of you guys suggested, one of the players. Now, normally I don't really go for wingers, but this lad seems to be pretty good. He's quite pacey, good agility, good balance, so that's always a good sign. He's also got really good ball control and excellent dribbling. His finishing is a 74, which isn't too bad either, and his short passing is a 76, which is actually all right. And he's currently worth... 10.5 million on a wage of 11,500 a week. He, he is affordable um, and I may genuinely actually go for this lad. Now, I have 24, uh, we'll call it 25 million. Um, so I can definitely afford him, but currently we're not in the transfer window. So we're going to have to wait up till January, uh, which is still a few more months away. So I think I'd, I'll definitely go for him because I might actually replace him uh, for maybe Isquiliado. I mean, Isquiliado has done quite well for me, so maybe I might replace him for Knockett. And what I might do with Knockett is I know he, I'm sure he can play centre mid. I'm sure he could. He's quite good at dribbling. His finishing's alright. He's good at agility. He could potentially play Cam as well instead of Grob, Gross, I should say, not Grob. We'll have to wait and see, guys, but I definitely want to take a look at buying him, potentially. Also, with me talking about suggestions and that, if you do have any suggestions at all with a player that you would like to suggest maybe for me to bring in, just leave it down in the comment section. Um, let me know who they are, what position they play, and who they play for. And uh, I, I always read through the comment section, so if you do have any suggestions, just let me know down in the comment section. But now, we are up against West Ham, and to be completely honest, I can't be asked playing against West Ham at the moment, so what we're going to do is we're going to sim. Now, we are currently in fourth place um, with a game in hand, so if we do win this game, I do believe we will go up into second place. So, this is a pretty important game. Let's see if we can get a win. It's going to be difficult, and unfortunately, we couldn't get a win there. That's unfortunate. Okie dokie, Swansea in next, let's simulate and hopefully we'll win. They ain't too much of a difficult team, but it ain't going to be easy. But we managed to win 1-0, Mascarell managed to get himself a goal, not bad. Alright, next up, Ross County, let's see if we can win. Should be an easy enough game, right? Surely. Yeah, absolutely battered them, 3-1, Ings, Mascarell and Knockout. Now, Mascarell's been scoring quite a few goals recently, he's on some good form. Now, we are up against Spurs, which is going to be one hell of a difficult game. Currently in fourth place, playing 10 with 19 points. Now, can we win? Um, I can't actually see Spurs in the top 
where we are, so they must be doing pretty bad. Holy shit. Spurs are in 13th place with a volley won at three, drew two, and lost a whopping five. They're having one hell of a terrible season. I think that's a good sign to actually give it a quick sim. Because I think if they're on that bad of a form, we could potentially win. So let's find out. We actually managed to win 1-0. What? Wow. Alright guys, um, we are now up against Derby County. But I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Um, let me know how quickly you want me to get through this season. Shall I sim quite a lot of games? Or do you want me to play quite a lot of games? Let me know as well down in the comment section. Uh, but that is unfortunately all the time I have for you guys today. With that being said, guys, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like down in this video. And also subscribe if you don't want to miss out on this series. But with that being said, guys, this has been MTG Gameplays. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. So as always, guys, cheers.